Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music. I'm going to start you off with a doodly tutorial and I'm going to create a new video with a whiteboard and it's going to be called Texts. And I'm going to show you how to use texts in doodly. And I'm going to start off with a resolution of 1080p. Okay, that's done that. Right now, if you go over to the left hand side, you'll see scenes, characters, props, and texts at the top tabs for the left hand side and if you click on the text ones you get all the um, text um, fonts and things like that so um, you can just pull them out of that and they go on to the area like that if you want to add a font you, please, you click the addition sign and browse for the ones that you want and if the TTFs, they should be okay. Uh, true type fonts, and then you just continue, and that should come up like that. That's pretty, pretty neat. But uh, I don't want it at the moment. I'm just showing you how to do it, right? I'll just take that one off, leave this one on, and I've just singly clicked it, clicked it rather than double clicked it because I wanted to show you. It's got like the tracing around it, and it's got these little handles on each area here like the middle of the corners the middle there corner there middle there corner there and middle there but right, so it's got eight handles on there and it's also got a rotate handle these handles to resize it with constraint obviously because the the font size has constraints on it so it, you can't stretch it out of its particular uh, ratio really it has to be in ratio with the uh, text font so um, you can make it bigger and and smaller and that but you can't really constrain it, get it out of the constraints really so but um, it's useful anyway and the rotation rotates around the center like that and you can go both ways so it's no problem and as well as that uh, there is also a rotation uh, if you look on the top of the area there you've got the um, icons here and this one here is like a cogwheel that one's the asset settings for the actual text box so if you go in here and you'll see the fourth one along fourth one down is rotate that's the same as that really so you can use that to rotate it to a specific amount like a one percent one uh, degree or whatever either way that you want you want a specific um, degree angle you can do that that way and this one you should look like do your best to get it as close you know but um as well as that the top piece here is the x and y is the pixels down uh, across and the pixels down from the top uh to the i think it's to the top left hand corner um, spot of the um, text box that's what it usually is anyway but that's what that's what it's supposed to be and that's your font size there which is 127 which is quite large really at the moment uh, as well as that we've got the color this is where we used to change the color but they've changed that now so this is now obsolete I, I assume they're going to put something else in there like maybe change to right hand um, uh, righty uh, rather than left hand so for people like um, um, people who want to do Arabic fonts and things like that they might have, they might have put that in there right hand font in there or something or something uh, and you've got your opacity here which is 100% which means it's completely solid so you can't see through the font at all whereas if you add it say like 30% or which I'll show you now you put it in 30 percent it will be semi see-through and i'll prove to you what what it actually does by putting a asset on which is that one and that's in front at the moment and if i take that to the back right so i'm going to take that back and as you can see you can see the apple leaf and the other part of it through the actual um, text so you can see it's there through the text can't you 
right so that's what opacity does if you got 100 percent it's completely solid so you can't see nothing through it if it's a zero percent you wouldn't see the text at all it'd be um, invisible and 30 percent makes it semi-solid or 50 percent does as well but um you know you, you can vary to go into what you want okay that's that right now i've made it back solid as you can see you can't see nothing through it now like you could before okay right now i'm going to carry on with explaining to you some of these things right the enter animation is how it st first starts uh, being on the screen so it'll be drawn on the screen like as if it, they're writing and it's going to take 1.5 seconds to do it to draw it but you can make it longer so say take, make it take five seconds to to do the actual whole of the text there and you can add a sound when it starts like a blast or something and you can do more than one if you want to you can do a couple of blasts so if you do that what you what you got to remember is however many sounds you do if it takes longer than five seconds to do the blasts it won't do all of them it'll only do the, up to the five seconds of how long it takes to draw the animation right so let's show you that first let's just take the uh, apple off because you don't want that at the moment right now let's preview it and let's see. Right, see. there you go that was pretty reasonable right now I'm gonna go back into the settings on that take that back down to one and a half seconds because that's what it was before wasn't it oops one and a half right now if you put an exit animation on like erase because that's all there is that's the only exit animation it's got at the moment um, they might add more in the future we'll see and you can add a sound to that so you can add a different sound if you want to like a boing right but you, let's show you what happens now right now if we do this you'll see I'll put it on the oh and it's erasing before you've had a chance to read it so that's not very good is it now if you do that that's a problem right so you could do what I did before which was make it take longer to write it but that still doesn't stop it from erasing it straight away if you want to leave a leave gap before it erases it what you need to do is um, you'd have to go on the settings here click off the exit animation and change it to none then you'd have to apply that then you'd have to go to scene settings take off the swipe and change it to none as well and add extra time at the end of that say however long it might take you to want to read it say six seconds and apply that then you'd have to go to the actual scene on the timeline and duplicate it and then the duplicate the duplicate one you'd have to go onto the actual text settings and take off the draw put, take that to none and use the exit animation as erase and then apply that and then I'm going to show you what happens there right, so that gives you a bit of time to read the text message before it erases it which will erase it in a second there you go so that's that's how you can do that right so now you know how it erases um, after a certain length of time by just using a duplicate that's the easiest way to do it right as well as that if you want to change the um, text all you do is do what it says double click to enter text so we double click to enter text uh, just give me a minute while I do this I hope you like my tutorial and hope you can please like and subscribe to Tony's music 
please also join for join for free doodly and tunely PNGs right okay so I've uh, done a lot of writing there and, and I've done it for a reason um, so I've done that I haven't clicked word wrap because I want to show you what happens when you do that it goes like that so it's way too long and you you know it's it's not what you want so what you need to do then is double click it go back in click on the word wrap and then you sort out like that and then you have to uh, move it about until you, like, until you get it somewhere like what you want like that and once you get it like that now you've got these alignment uh, and also you can click on align to the right so all the w w words are on the right hand side uh, lined up on the right then they're lined up on the centre or they're lined up on the left right that's what you do there right now as well as that I'm going to show you how, how you do the colour now you got a colour palette up here you need to um, select the actual stuff that you want to colour and the, then you click on the colour that you want like yellow maybe it's going to be a bit bright but there you go and I've done that and Tony's music is yellow now and say you want something else for doodling internally png say green for that or something click on green so we've got that in green and there you go so if you want to click on all of it and change the color of all of it you can do that as well uh, i've nearly done all of it it's the trouble is i'm having problems with this <laughs> okay now let's just change it to dark blue and click on that hopefully it should all change there you go so that's what you can do right so that's how you do all that right um, at the moment they haven't got any way of making it so that you can uh, right from right to left uh, they took off the uh, check box for it um, so I assume uh, they're gonna replace the color part here for the right hand um, writing from right to left there maybe I assume that's what they're going to do uh, the other thing is uh, you've got an invert here which you click on that and it'll change the colours to the opposite colour like that so whatever colour it is say if it's black it would turn to white and so on and so forth according to what colour it, it's on so if you want to change the colour quickly without going through all the colours you can do it that way as well so you know you could have it like that and then have the next one flashing the opposite colour so it would be like a flashing one for example you know so what I'll do is take the first one off delete that one okay now on that one I've got that one there click on add and now I don't want to click on add do I delete that right okay now duplicate that and on this one change it to the opposite right and then duplicate again and then change that one back and then just do a bit like that and you could take that off again so you know you could do that and in between them you could you could just change the time and that's how they, it would be very quick so you'd have it a second between each and it would make it flash but that one's actually wiping off which I didn't do that I oh, did yeah I, I forgot to set the wipe off so what we'll do is click on that one go on there change that from erase to none and put it right on draw right so draw that right then this one you want it as none and none so we do none none so it'll stay and then this one 
Northern Arise. Yeah, that's it right now. We'll try that again from the beginning. It's doing that. It's going to flash to yellow and then it should go back to blue again in a bit. But it's got fire and there's the yellow. It's, oh, it's erasing on the yellow. Why is it running on the yellow? I don't. I could have sworn I took the eraser off there. No. Apply. Right. I'll try that again. Sorry about that. We've got to remember we've got time on this one, so we, we've probably got time on the other one as well, so that's going to carry on and then it's going to go back to blue again. So if you wanted to like flash it, you have to pull the time off. Right, so let's go, let's do that. So let's take the time off the this one. Scene time. five seconds yeah like that. something right so we do that and then you'll see it just flash on and off hopefully <laughs> so we've done it right this time and you just flash on to your, the yellow one and then flash back off onto the red one I'm in the blue one there you go so if you wanted a flash like that you could do that right but um, that was just an idea so if you like that uh, please like and subscribe to Tony's Music and if you've got any questions please put them below my video or you can ask on Doodly and Tunely PNGs ok thank you